I was on Facebook. Yeah, I was on Facebook. And someone was posting a link to a Washington Blade article. Washington Blade is an LGBT online news site. Talking about police cracking down on gay sex at night at a uh, Washington, D.C. federal park. And some people are declaring it as, oh, it's, it's, it's anti-gay. It's, it's just like Stonewall. It's just like Stonewall. What are you talking about? With Stonewall, they were going into a gay bar and harassing people at the gay bar. You're considering a park at night after it's closed? Uh, you're, you're considering them cracking down on people going to a park at night to have anonymous gay sex? You're equating that with Stonewall? What the hell? You know, I didn't dare make any comment on it. I just, I just saw the article and was just in awe that you know, and that so many people were put an angry face. Uh, you can, what are those called? Reactions. A bunch of angry reactions to the article, and I'm just going, what the hell? I mean, just by it, just going to these parks at night in general. I mean, just that by itself is against the law. Um, I mean, I'd love to go to a number of parks at night to take extended, uh, exposure shots. You know, when things are lit up at night, it looks very different than when it's lit during the day. You know, it can be kind of eerie seeing some of those, those pictures at night, you know? Um, I'd love to do that, but I don't because I don't want to, I don't want to get, you know, arrested possibly for being in a park at night. There are apparently some people who just think that's their right or something. You know, if you if you try to stop them, that's anti-gay. Why are you doing that to the gay community? Why are you doing? Why are you at, uh, uh, targeting gay men? Why are you doing that? That's anti-gay. No, no, it's not. You know, they would be doing the same thing if there were straight people doing that. You know, and that leads me to think about bathhouses too. Bathhouses, the same thing. People wanting anonymous gay sex. You know, no strings attached. Yeah, I suppose I, I suppose there's some draw to that, but um, just completely anonymous, though. It's just weird to me. It really is. Um, and it shows that there is definitely a difference in sexuality between men and women. I mean, have you ever heard of a lesbian bathhouse? I sure haven't. And this is with, and then we're talking about people that are already outside the normal, uh, you know, a heteronormative uh, uh, kind of thing. And I, I don't, I've never heard of a, of a lesbian bathhouse. Men and women just seem to to think about sexuality differently. But uh, man, can can you imagine though, them trying to start a straight bathhouse? Can do you, can you imagine any women wanting to go to it to have anonymous sex with men? I'm sure there's some out there. I'm not saying that that it doesn't exist, but it's just it's weird. And I guess one of the things that I expect to come out of of pointing this stuff out is uh, cis heteronormativity. You just you just don't accept other cultures. Just like, um, do you think that's a healthy kind of culture to push anonymous sex? Is that healthy? I mean, if that's what, what gets someone's rocks off, whatever, you know, but do you think that's healthy? It's just weird to me. Maybe I'll regret making this video. Who knows?